Good morning. It's uh, Monday, the 17th of August, and delighted you could be with me today. If you have others that you think would like to enjoy this and have it, have them, uh, send them a link. Have them help us join and get on, and we'll be delighted to have them be part of our uh, morning thoughts. So please uh, feel free to share. Uh, we are normally, we would normally have school going right now, uh, starting up. But because of COVID, things have been pushed back to the uh, 31st of this month. So perhaps that's the same in your neighborhood, but here in Collier, that's what the decision has been made. And our school is going to uh, get going next. Naple Adventist Christian School, which is an excellent school. I'm, I'm so proud of the teachers there. We have a great staff and a great, great group of uh, young people going to school there. It's a K through eight, so it's a wonderful little school, um, and I'm proud of them, and I'm proud of what they can accomplish. Uh, so uh, that's that's our story here, and we are trying to be checked ourselves and get tired of wearing a mask, but that's life and how life should go. This, this morning, I want to talk to you about silence. There is a passage in the scripture, Psalm 46, verse 10, and I just want to do just one phrase of it, and it may be very familiar to you, but I would like you to think about it this morning. Psalms 46, verse 10, which says, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. There's something about being still. Relaxing. I remember the first time I really discovered that I don't have to do all the talking in prayer that I can actually just lay there and listen or just be silent and said, God, speak to me, open my mind and let me think. And I'm surprised at the wonderful things that God shares with me when I stop doing all the talking. If you need to do that in prayer, please try it. It's a great thing to have. So, so being careful, being silent in things, being silent in what we are doing. Sometimes silence is one of the great gifts uh, to be given to us because, you know, uh, over the years, you, you kind of learn that you, um, you never, uh, ha or I shouldn't say never, but you uh, rarely, rarely are uh, regret things that you didn't say. Rarely regret things you didn't say. So, yes, that's true. I remember there are times I said, oh, I wish I'd said that. But in reality, keeping our, our thoughts and not fake because our words can get us into great danger. So silence, silence is important. I want to just highlight a few of those with you this morning. So just let your mind think about these a little bit. What does silence create? Okay, what does silence create? It makes room for listening. It gives us freedom to observe. It allows time to think. It provides space in which to feel. It lets us broaden our awareness. It opens up to the entry of peace. It invites us to know our limitations and God's vastness. Isn't that true? like to encourage you to say maybe there's time to just take time to be silent. We live in a world where it seems like we have to have noise or music or something going on constantly, isn't there? I, I know these young people that can't seem to go out without having uh, music, their music playing in their ears. And often you think you speak to someone and they totally ignore you because they've got, they've got their little earbuds in and they can't hear you because they're listening to their music. Constantly have to have some, have to have the radio on it. As I've gotten older, <laughs> I think there's some value in silence. Just silence. And just taking time to let silence be part of your life. It can be very refreshing. And in prayer, it can be huge. Let me pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for the gift of silence you give to us. I thank you that we can have you and have you speak to us if we just listen. Silence is a gift, isn't it, that you give to us to be at peace. Be with us today. 
in our COVID and all the things that are happening. We ask for your protection and grace in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day. And uh, be peaceful and silent today. <laughs>